Hey, what's up, guys? Matt here with a quick uh, Sunday sermon. I didn't get a Wednesday word in, so I thought I would do a quick Sunday sermon of something God's had in my heart that maybe, um, as he's revealed it to me, can help you guys as well. And that is, uh, with this Christian walk, it's important that we remind ourselves that we need to take action. I'm aware we are saved uh, by grace through faith. And we can do what we do because of the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. But but God has shown me so clearly, if, if we are going to live the righteousness and the spiritual life that he wants us to live, it requires us to take some action. Now, just like the book of John says, it is Christ abiding in us. Don't get me wrong. So it's the Holy Spirit having his work in us. But I was thinking there are so many verses in the Bible that talk about, like in Matthew, seek first the kingdom of heaven. In Proverbs, commit your works unto the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Hebrews, fix your eyes on Jesus. Another verse in Hebrews, run the race, uh, press towards the mark. And there's, the verses go on and on that basically are telling us we need to take action. Knock and it shall be open. Ask and you shall, you shall receive. And so many times I think if you're like me, I tend to judge my spiritual walk or my maturity on what all I'm not doing. As long as I'm not sinning, as long as I'm not doing the things that I know I shouldn't be doing, like I'm living like God wants me to do, and that, that's totally the wrong way of thinking. You know, Jesus, before he left, he said, now go and make disciples. He, he and, and it empowers us so much when we are doing something. Satan wants you to sit back and fight a whole battle with a shield that you're just dodging and, and reflecting and, and taking, absorbing his fiery darts, like it says in the New Testament. Uh, and that there is something to be said for that. that that's, that's important. But if you want true happiness, if you, if you want to be in God's will where he wants us, it requires us taking action to go out and live the Christian life. And live it with passion and with zeal and with zest and with, with energy and a positive attitude and a light in the world, the salt of the earth, a smile on your face and being kind to one another and turning the other cheek and, and love one another and all these things, not just resisting temptation and not just um, denying ourselves uh, from sin. So again, God's put this on my heart that um, I was thinking about, you know, even the issues with, with, with um, I've had with my marriage. Um, often it can be very stressful having two kids as small as I do. And, and I'll, I'll have to remind myself, it's not about um, what all I'm not, if, if I'm going to have a good marriage, if I'm going to have a, a loving relationship with my wife, it's what all can I do for her? I'm looking for opportunities to do things, to help her, to love her, to encourage her, to support her, to be there for her. Um, so in our relationship with Christ is the same way. We, we have to get a mindset that we take action. We're not simply just look at all the things we do not do. So that's your, your Sunday short sermon to think about. What is it today, tonight, this morning, wherever you're seeing this video, you can do to take action? My dad always quotes that verse, commit your works unto the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Because a lot of times I'll think, you know what, God, I go throughout the day, I'm not even thinking about you. My mind's over here and there and everywhere. I don't even have you in my mind. What, what's wrong with this after all you've done for me? But my dad says, commit your works unto the Lord, and then your thoughts will be established. If we, like Hebrews, fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. If we run the race... If we seek first the kingdom of heaven, God, I'm looking for things you. I'm knocking and I'm asking for you to do things in my life. I can promise you the Holy Spirit will come down and honor that every single time. And then with all that been said, you give God the glory. I did a video called Know Your Role. And I think so many people miss out on that part of it, that even when you're doing things, if it's going good and, and life is going the way you want, Make sure you always stop and give God the glory, guys. It's not about us. This life's not about us. Uh, about us. We, we've got to point people towards Jesus. This life is just like a vapor. We don't know how long we have, but it, it, it's very short, so just point people towards Jesus. 
that's where ultimately our happiness and satisfaction comes from. So there's your Sunday, a Sunday. That's a tongue twister. Your su Sunday short sermon. I guess it, it goes, clicks well on a website, but it's hard to say, right? Anyway. I got you. Thank you for all the support. Hope you have a great day. God bless you.